Hey guys, Froden Stack here, and welcome back to episode 8 of this Dwarfen campaign. Now, we have moved um, my dwarfs up a bit, and this army is coming to sort of intercept uh, Dwarling. However, I will be able to call in the reinforcements from up north. King Dane, thank God. And uh, we also have a little vent. Uh, the one ring has been located. We've been kept in Graham over there, which is not too far from where we actually are. Um, I am sort of debating with Gimli to either move, move down and take this village or just perhaps stay on the defensive for Eleron for now. Uh, while we just hold there for a bit. And while we're waiting for our barracks to be built. And uh, we're sending over reinforcements and just preparing to move Gimli out once we have some more troops. Once this barracks is perfectly built, which is probably six turns from the looks of things. We will now um, speak for Rad, which is our um, mission. And we get trade with them, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. So, uh, yeah, mission success. Now, the question is, where do we send our diplomat now? Um, no really else to really send him, so, yeah. Uh, we are moving our troops around. This army is here. And uh, we actually now have the barracks built. We are actually building a the army barracks, which gives us some extra troops, which is nice. So we can get warriors, Matic warriors, and halbermen, thank god. Uh, which we'll be doing at some point. That's good. Right, let's go do this uh, battle then, shall we? Or perhaps we might even make it to Graham, I don't know. Oh, for f. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight the battle with Dwelling then. Alright, um, capturing Murgosh, she's got a pitiful, shitty army, and then you got Captain Lagash, who has the big, hunky, Gundabad army, essentially. <laughs> Alright, let's go do this. Why can't I hear the, uh, barrel thing? Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Sounds like fucking Slenderman, then, for a minute. Okay, right. We've got Glory in command in this regiment. So, he will do his duty. And Dane will arrive soon as well, so that's good. I don't know if I turned on the right setting. Oh, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Go over there, mate. I want to be aggressive. I want to do, go full dwarf mode. So, the other orc army is coming over this ridge. So, I think it's probably a good idea to... Oh, let's not do that. Do this. Uh, you guys better hold this. We want to make sure we can stop them completely. It's going to take um, the king to get over here. I will obviously prefer to uh, play with the king's army, but unfortunately that is not the case. Well, you also have a decent little force here. Obviously, we've got our um, Gareth in, in position for the big orc army, which is the one over there, which is the only really one that really concerns me. Let's get you guys over there. I want to go over that. Behind them, please. Stop them. They are heavy infantry, so probably against mines is not a good idea, but. Fuck it. <laughs> Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Get behind that. Get Glowing into the fight. Kill those all sons of bitches. Get 
in there. And we need to get preparing for the Orca Salt here as well. Fantastic. Go for them. Slaughter them. And then he's spamming them. Gonna pest in my mind a bit, but we should be okay. We are now being, beginning firing. My only real concern with the what in the fuck are you doing? Don't target them for Christ's sake. Get the king over there. Well, do I get him to come to me? Probably. I don't know. I kind of want the king to do some damage, but I'm worried he's going to do something stupid. Fuck it. <laughs> Just attack them. I don't usually use the uh, keyboard shortcuts where I'm running for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I think sometimes the shortcuts aren't done properly, but they seem to be alright now. It does seem there's going to be a fight over here. I don't think we're in range. No, we're not even in range. I was thinking they'd come to us, but it's not really the case, is it? I don't know, maybe. They might just might still come over. Alright, that's some dead good. Mate, you're wasting your time. I wish I could like um, actually set up a line. No, I think they're gonna have to go deal with the orcs. I think. Wish I could just select them, but whatever. Okay. It does seem we're gonna have to come down here and fight. Something I think they could do with um, this mod is a variation of music because I can tend to hear the same music on and on again. Um, which would be nice to hear something different. I mean, I don't mind the Lord of the Rings music, but after you've heard it for like the hundred times, it's sort of just a bit. Uh, <laughs> not more. But I mean, I don't mean like Lord of the Rings music itself. I mean like different variations of music for Lord of the Rings. Rather than this uh, Mordor song, so I keep hearing it a lot. <laughs> and. Um, it gets a bit irritating after a while. Right, put Dwell in there. I do really like the idea of giving like more generals and to the dwarfs. Alright. Let's watch them clash. Now, why are you putting the miners on the front line, you fools? Maybe that might do some. I don't know. Can't be really do anything with the AI army. To be perfectly honest, so we have to ignore them. I'm surprised if you can get over it. To be honest. Oh shit! Get you in the proper line formation. Don't think, don't think you're ever. I thought they were going to come up on the hill and fight us, but they're not. They're going to. 
we're in fierce combat with the dwarves. Thankfully, the area isn't doing too much of a bad job. What the hell were these doing? <laughs> They're literally coming. Just one unit of them attacking us. That's a really bad idea. Nice one. Nice one, AI. Good idea. Good idea, that. Because. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to try and use. It's never going to work, bro. Do you know what? <laughs> Just all surround them and kill them, please. Have a way. It's a really bad strategy by the orcs there. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got a perfect idea. Encircle the entire army. Well, hopefully my ballista doesn't hit them too bad. They'll be tied up by the time they get it, but if we can encircle that army, then victory is almost assured. I'm never going to get there in time. Oh, well, maybe they might. I don't know. Actually, because the zone will probably run this way. Go over there. We lost 300 men. Yeah. Shit. Sound defensive, mate. I mean, you're winning. So I'm going to have these casualties no matter what. So it will just be the way. But if we can win this army, that is the path into Gundabad ours. We're gonna, they're going to win this before I can really get there. Center one in. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get there and we'll one by then by the time I can get, Jesus. Which is a good thing I guess, I mean I won't lose too many men from this. Yep, that's victory. I think, uh, we just send them all in. Giant cluster. God, they're all routing. <laughs> Christ. I don't think we can even chase many of them, to be honest. <laughs> Never gonna be able to chase them all. We're catching the few, but uh, I'm never gonna get that in time. Unfortunately, I'm gonna leave the battlefield. But anyway, uh, we shall, we shall. Uh... But it does mean now that the path to Gundabad should be open. And Dwalin will uh, get some more troops from this army, I think. But yeah, that's some lost. They're gone. Oh well. <sighs> we tried to catch them, but the problem is we don't have any cavalry. If we had the cavalry, we'd be fine. Uh, which would be nice. Wow, we only lost 200. I don't know why I said. <laughs> I said I thought we lost a lot more, actually. But okay, that's good. Alright, I'll take that. That's now the. That does mean that the route to Gundabad is now open. So we can probably. Perhaps even get the Battle of Gundabad in the episode today. So, uh, yeah, that'd be good. Alright, we shall uh, skip ahead a bit. Right, I usually execute the prisoners. I probably will. I don't know if I need to really show you that part. But, uh, you know, I probably will anyway. But, uh, we shall return to the campaign map and prepare for our attack on Gundabad, probably. Okay, we are going to have to fight this one. Uh, Gundabad, the Siege of Gundabad, of course. There's a massive big orc army behind me called with Naglug, which is probably what they brought over from Angmar, I'd imagine. So, we need to fight this one now. The garrison's quite decent, really. Uh, most of them weakened from the siege, so that's quite good. But uh, we can't wait any longer. Uh, we've been sieging it for a couple of turns, but we need to fight this now. Otherwise, that orc army is going to stop us from taking it. Because if they join together with the garrison of Angmar, I don't know if we'd be able to win or even be able to mount a second assault on Khan Dam later on or, or through that mountain pass. So, um, 
Let's do this, and uh, hopefully it goes well. It'd be nice to check out the good and the bad settlement model as well. All right, let's have a look at the settlement model then. It's a bit foggy, I'm afraid, but um, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I don't know if I can even see it. Really. Is that it there? Ah, here we are. This is good and the bad, right here somewhere. But I can't quite. Right, let me go. <laughs> let me just go off to the side. All right, yeah, this is good and the bad. Well, okay, this does look quite. Massive. Let's try and get in a good angle where I can actually see the bloody thing. Because <laughs> right now, it's really the thing about this game is very difficult to. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I cannot. Okay. Whatever. Okay, whatever. whatever. I can't bloody see anything. <laughs> It seems your car is sent on my allies. That's not good. Okay, so there. Right. Uh, I can't. Okay, from what I can just about see it. Fucking hell. It, the camera in this is horrible. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. There you go. Okay, that's just. That's good enough, I think. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Is there even a gate to this place? I don't know. I don't know if there even is a gate. It's so slow to move around. Right, this is must be the gate. Can you like go right through it then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the camera map is horrible for this. All right, can't move over that. And uh, we'll skip ahead once we've made some ground. Okay, I've had to redo the battle again because the AI reinforcements on my end decided to, for some reason, spawn inside of the settlement um, and died before I could even get there. So, we're essentially, I don't think there's even a, now I'm pretty sure there isn't even a gate to this settlement, which is a bit odd. The settlement's nice though, it's a shame that I can't really see it, <laughs> but, oh well, so I'm pretty sure it's like, in, I'm gonna have to like move. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. It's, as you can see, it's a little bit buggy. It's a little bit buggy. I need to fix this a lot to make this actually work. So, okay, we can sort of see above them. It's a little bit weird. But I don't see a gate somewhere. In some, unless it's through here. Yeah, there's no gate. <laughs> weird. Alright. <laughs> that is quite odd, but uh, whatever. Nope. <laughs> As you can see, it's very difficult to position your forces. I mean, it's like he's pushing me all the way back. It's ridiculous. This, really, this settlement, I can tell you, straight away, needs a lot of work for this to even work. For um. I tell you what. Um. So if I go in that gatehouse, my guys just like fly in the air, so that's not doing that. Alright, get you moving. Apart from uh, Dane, because you take about 10 billion years to move anyone. <laughs> uh, overall, I would say for this campaign, it's been quite good. I think the only problems I have... I can't really, like, just... I mean, the only problem is, is the summit moles could use a bit. Just, please, just, for the love of God. Just. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think the summit moles need a little bit more work just to make sure that they work fine. But other than that, uh, maybe the bodyguards as well, perhaps they could use a bit of change. Cause I'm, again, I'm not too keen on the pipemen. Really? Because the pikemen aren't really done well. So, yeah. I don't know if this settlement's meant to be like this, but... I mean, they've tested it, of course, but... No. Maybe there should be, like, a gate. You have to knock down some sort of dwarven settlements. But other than that, I, I, I think this has been a great, a good series so far. And obviously, I'd imagine a lot of people probably prefer Divide and Conquer stuff, which is understandable, because that's, like very well known a lot of people love that and it's true divide and conquer is an excellent little mod 
say it little. It's excellent, insane, massively massive mod. Um, <laughs> I don't even range on it. No, not even in range. Okay, we're gonna have to be very careful. Not oh, cuts. No, 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 no. Okay, the, we should be in range if we put everything here. No, that's probably a little bit too big. And because most of them are in the town square. It might be a little difficult. Mm. Dan will be on the front line. You know, the bliss is just at the back here. Maybe move it back a little bit. And essentially, the game is just to pelt them with arrows. Maybe a little bit there. And you guys have just got the back there. Perfect. Right. Either way, let's have a look at the units. Just to appreciate the look of them. I mean, I mean we've been through them before, but let's have a look. Iron Guard. I don't think know if we've seen the Iron Guard before, but they do look very nice. And obviously, got the Dwarf and Warrior at the back. What's that? Now, quite a few of our units are a bit bad. Which is understandable, we've been through a lot. We've been fighting a lot of armies. Alright, come on, guys. Hurry up. Oh, we are in range for the most part. That's good. Let's smack them about a bit. Well, yeah, we've just killed you. Yeah. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> Can't come out as a dare ya. Gonna die horribly. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right. Okay, maybe that's not stop that. Just shoot whoever. The routing. See, the main problem with this will be is that they are in the square bot area where they don't can't steal those archers if you can. So the plan for us is just set them back here and cut them with our ballistas for a bit. Weaken them up a bit. Come on. I know you can actually uh, recruit uh, like um, war goats, which I think is really cool. Which is like a carry unit. For the dwarfs, and you can recruit uh, a bit of a crossbow unit as well, which is also quite nice. I didn't see anything about archer units. Are they coming? No. Come 
and store them. Destroy! Increase the range of it. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it off on these orc fellows over here. Right, one more round, I think, will do it. Alright, let's do the mass charge into Gundabad and finish off the orcs once and for all. God willing. <laughs> Get you in there. Let's kill him. Right. Oh, that is so good to hear. Gunned about the back. I love the uh, Gunned about in my world. It's quite nice. It's a bit of a hard place to navigate around, but other than that, it's alright. <laughs> right. Attack! What doing? <laughs> Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I don't know where you guys are going. Licking it the other way. My dwarf lies will die this day. Players for a good cause. The death of the orcs. Kick ass, Dane. Buggers for a start. You have shot your last. You have shot your last. Come on, dwarves putting into them. Oh, they're going to fire again. Oh, come on. Why do you have to walk really slowly while you're just. Okay, now you just let them get a volley off. Idiots. <laughs> Stupid dwarves. Attack! Let them fire again. You guys suck. You guys get around the back here and slaughter them. Oh, no, you guys stay here and finish off them. I was just in the pelts of arrows.
a great slaughter. Only today. half the enemy force remains. Oh, has it changed my settings again? It always bleed. I don't understand why it does this all the time. It always changes my settings. Every time I come out of the game, go back into the game, it then does... Ugh, it's ridiculous. It's so infuriating. I don't know why it ever does that. It's just really stupid. My lord! We have lost control of the city! Well, tell me when it's something important. <laughs> we're gonna take Gundabad. And we're gonna take this for the orc, for the dwarfs. <laughs> Kill their general. And our time, and we're over the 30 minute mark. <laughs> oh well, fuck it. Right, finish them off. This is a clear victory. Oh yeah, look at that. 214 loss, but uh, we've taken Gundabad, and no doubt caused a massive blow towards the orcs. Damn. <laughs> Well, uh, that's that. I imagine in the next episode we'll be having our battle with the orcs that are outside of Gundabad, unless they retreat, but uh, we can't really allow, we can't risk it. Uh, because if they do fall back, um, we're going to be in some trouble. <laughs> so we do need to beat that orc army now, otherwise we risk them heading back to our homeland and taking servants. And then we have to go on the Mary Goose chasers and chase them back. Uh, so we don't want to be doing that. Over in the west, we've uh, given these repairing now, so he's doing quite well. Kill them all. Gundabad is ours. Victory. I'm a killer all inside. Oh, and we got some, um, got a mission as well. We got Dragon Slayers of. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> When's gonna bring over. Ori, sorry. It's gonna bring over a massive army soon. It's gonna be good. So, um, yeah, victory is ours. Right. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this battle immediately. <laughs> so, um, we're ending this episode off here, and we will do this battle in the next episode. Um, this will be fun. <laughs> so, we've got Nagluck, who I don't know who he is, but he's a quite a good general. Probably one of the best orc generals I have left. Got Lunak. Does he have any special units for bodyguards? Nah, it's just the gonna bad bodyguards. Which is a standard, so essentially what we've faced before. Uh, now the barracks event is kicked off, a lot of factions will be getting their good units, so. Yeah. I think after this, it's probably a good idea for us to push straight on. Um, I don't know, we need to deal with the Orcs of uh, Gundabad, the, um, the Mesa Mountain, sorry, so we need to. As they keep coming towards Ramsburg. Don't attack it. They just keep staying there. And I'm probably going to attack it next turn. And we need to... Um, uh, I don't know what to do here. Um, as I say, we start building up some troops straight away. Bring them over. And um, prepare for an offensive against the Orcs. We need to beat them now. We need to hit them hard. Or oh, they're going to get powerful. There's a problem with fighting wars on two fronts. Because you can't really go... You can go west. Which is... I mean, it's alright. Or you can, but we have to go south as well, so it's a bit. And the York army keeps coming out of the middle of nowhere. I think there must be like a something over here. Not really sure what. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will see you later. <laughs>